What U.S. cities have bike share systems or e-scooter systems? How has this changed over time? The Bureau of Transportation Statistics, BTS, has a webpage that answers these questions and lets you dive deeper into docked bike share cities to see dock locations, system usage, and areas of the city that can be reached from a dock in a specified amount of time. Join us as we take a closer look at these exciting BTS offerings. The BTS Interactive Bike Share and E-Scooter app shows U.S. cities with a docked or dockless bike share or e-scooter systems. This includes the names of systems as of December 31st and every year from 2015 through 2021. Docked bike share systems appeared prior to 2015, but we didn't start tracking until 2015. Modern dockless bike share and e-scooter systems didn't appear in the U.S. until 2017. How does your city compare to others? When are bike share systems busier? What's the split between local members and out-of-town visitors? BTS offers users the ability to dig into the data with drill downs to month, day, and even hour for trips by members and non-members for 14 different docked bike share systems. What part of a city can I visit within a 10 or 20 minute ride from a nearby docking station? We've published the locations of the docking stations as of December 31st, then calculated the areas of each city accessible by each of its bikes within 10 and 20 minutes. How has the bike share ecosystem changed before and during the pandemic? The total number of cities served by bike share and the total number of systems grew from 2015 to 2019 and then declined in 2020 due to the onset of COVID-19. When offices and cafes shut down in 2020, many systems temporarily suspended operations or closed permanently. For information on systems that suspended operations or closed in 2020, see our page on Docked and Dockless and E-Scooter System Changes 2020. When we analyzed the effects of COVID-19 on docked bike share use, BTS found the number of trips taken on six of the nation's largest systems declined from March 2020 through May compared to usage on the same days of the week in 2019. The largest year-over-year -year decline occurred in April 2020 with stay-at-home orders in effect around the country. But in May 2020, the number of trips began increasing again, and by November, they rose above 2019 levels. Following November, ridership receded again before rising above 2019 levels in April 2021 and all months since. As you can tell, there's a lot of bike share and e-scooter data on these pages. And BTS updates the latest use data every month and all other data annually, so there's always more to explore. And if you think of something we haven't, let us know what other bike share and e-scooter stats would be useful at bts.dot.gov. At